Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sarah Nova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Sarah Nova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Sarah Nova Crafts on Instagram. You can find the show notes for today's episode on my blog or in the Ravelry group. Links down below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, it's been a little bit. Uh, I went to TNA and back. Um, I also have a half object to show you because I finished um, one sock on a sock project. And then um, I have some stash to show you. And then I'm actually working on a design project. So I'm going to show you guys that as well. Hi, Zoe. You going to look out the window while I podcast? Um, they, her and Confetti really like the, the windows. Um, Confetti actually just jumped out. I had the, I have the front door open because I like something known as daylight. And, um, Confetti was sitting on a chair, on a dining chair so she could look out. Um, let's see. Oh, the other thing I did, um, this week was, if you can see here on my ear, I went and got a third piercing. Um, that was, um, it wasn't, it, it. It wasn't um, an impulse thing. Um, I actually was telling myself, Zoe, no, 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 no. So the camera's on a tray table. And she started to get on the tray table. No, no tray table for you. No, no tray table for you. But look at the cute. Isn't she so cute? Look at her. Look at her. Isn't she so cute? Who's so good, Zoe? She doesn't like being held like this. But look at the kitty belly. Look at the one orange foot. Look at the foot. Okay, I'll let you go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> She's not, um... But yeah, uh, uh, it wasn't an impulse thing to get my ears pierced, and I did get both sides. I did get both sides done. I don't have any other earrings in at the moment, but I did get both sides done. Because I decided months ago um, that I was going to get a third piercing um, for my 30th birthday in November. And I just, I didn't do it. For some reason, just life got away from me, whatever. And I've honestly, I've wanted the third, third piercing for years. I've always, for some reason, I've just always wanted three in each year, just one, two, three, bang, that's it, right? I have no desire for like a thing or an eyebrow or a nose or I have no desire for any of that. Um, but I wanted the third piercing. And so I had a little extra in my budget this week, this past week, and so I said, screw it. Well, I might've said something a little stronger, but it translated to screw it. And I went and had it done. Um, I have titanium studs in because I have what I'm guessing is a nickel allergy, but might actually be a steel allergy because apparently sterling silver has a much higher nickel content than I thought, but, um, but I don't react to it, but I react to surgical steel. So I might actually have a steel allergy and not a nickel allergy, which is interesting, but you know, I'm running with nickel for the time being. I could go get allergy tested, but, oh, and the reason I'm fiddling with my hair so much and the reason that it's down is that I showered and it's still damp underneath. And so like, I have it loose so that I can, so that it'll dry, but I mean, look at it. It's just, it's crazy loose. I mean, look at this. Look how much hair I have, right? It's just, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of hair. I freely admit that. All right, so y'all are here for knitting. I'm gonna show you knitting. Um, so first things first, the half object I'm showing you is my Hermione socks for, on the uh, feisty fibers. Where's, where's my phone? I, the, the yarn label is on the other couch. I'm on the love sack. The yarn label's on the couch. But I have my phone here. So I am going to go on Ravelry real quick and tell you what the yarn is because I cannot remember the... the um, I... I cannot, Eng I cannot English right now. I swear I cannot English right now. I know the colorway and it's smashed candy, but I cannot think of the dyer. So I'm looking for the dyer. Um, cause I have it on Ravelry, um, in my notebook, in my projects, come on, come on phone, come on. Feisty Fibers, so it's, the Feisty Fibers is the dyer, Beyond Socks is the base, and Smashed Candy is the colorway. So the last time, so here's the, here's the first sock. It's not, the sock isn't gen finished yet, the toe end is woven in but not this end yet, because I literally cast it off and started recording, basically. It's just, I went and got the blocker and then I started recording. Um, so, uh, uh, but yeah, so this is Hermione's Everyday Socks, except instead of the heel, the pattern says, I am doing a fish lips kiss heel. So there is that, but, um, but here it is. You can see it, it's really showing off the, so I was here, here's the marker. I know it's a pink marker on a pink 
it's a pink marker on a pink sock, right? Sorry, but here's the marker. So I was here last time I showed it on the podcast. I knit until about here at TNNA, and then I finished the rest of it off this week. So, I, so as soon as I'm done recording, I will be starting the second sock. Because I didn't actually cast that on immediately. Um, the other thing I've been working on, I'm just using some Karen Simply Soft for this. But I started designing another pattern. Um, I'm not going to show you guys too much. This is just a very, very beginning. But I've worked the numbers out for something much larger. It's going to be a triangle shawl. I guess I'm using like bright yellow yarn. Um, it's going to be garter stitch and eyelets. But I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. But um, look for that coming in the next couple of weeks. Um, I want to finish knitting up this test in the acrylic. And then um, I'm probably going to get some yarn from 100 Ravens. Um, to, because I'm knitting this pattern up. I was originally just going to publish it, but then I was talking to, to Becca, who runs AHR, and she was like, would you design for us? I'm like, yeah, sure, of course I'll design for you. Like, I love you guys. I'm working shows for you guys. Of course I'll design for you. So they have a DK weight base called Vanier that they don't sell a lot of, but it's a slightly lower price point than their, like, normal sport slash DK, which is the Acer base. Um... And so I said I would just design it for Van Air. So I'm using the Karen Simply Soft. It, this is a worsted, but, you know, it'll show me pretty much what it's going to look like on a DK base because DK and worsted are close. I know that's not exact, but the, this cheapo acrylic Karen Simply Soft version, this is the proof of concept, right? I've done all the math. I've written it out. Now I need to see if it works. So this is the see if it works version. And then I will knit an actual, like, sample out of the Van Air for 100 ravens. So, speaking of 100 Ravens, um, I got partially paid in yarn, as usual, which I don't mind. I like getting their yarn. I love their yarn. Great colors. Um, great, you know, great, great stuff from them. So I'm not complaining about that. Um, oh, my light is fading really fast. Um, sorry about that. I was trying to record while there was still good daylight, and then daylight started slipping away because it's after 8 o'clock. But I didn't want to record until I had something to show, and that something to show was the... Um, was the, the, was the socks, so, um, anyways, um, we went to TN, so, if you forgot, we went to TNNA, um, last weekend, and, um, it was in Cleveland, Ohio this year, and so we left, um, it was supposed to be, like, 10 o'clock Wednesday night, we ended up leaving at about 12.45 a.m. on Thursday, we drove the 12 hours basically straight through, I started off driving, and then, um, and then Becca drove for a few hours, and then I drove from about 5 a.m. to about 10.30 in the morning, and then Becca drove us the rest of the way to Cleveland to the, um, to the, to the convention center. At that point, you know, we had to sit in line for a while to get in, because you always have to sit in line, and then we, um, we undid the booth, we did the sample it that night. Sample it is where, like, people actually sell stuff, like, actual product. Because TNA is a is a trade show as opposed to a normal um, festival, so we weren't actively selling too much. I mean, we were selling. We we sold yarn out of the booth, but it was more like people buying a few skeins to play with the yarn to decide if they liked it to make a wholesale order. But we did a good business, had a good weekend. Um, it was interesting. It wasn't the show wasn't as busy as like what I'm used to working a show with them, because there weren't as many customers. Right? This was it was an industry event, so like if you weren't like a yarn shop owner or a person selling a product you couldn't really get in um like the general public was not was not a thing here at this event so um it was a little more low-key um but it was good um we set up the booth uh i have a couple of pictures that i'll put in um you know of the booth and then um we uh uh, uh you know we, we actually were so tired thursday and friday night that we just ordered pizza to the hotel room <laughs> And, like, I was so hungry on Thursday. I literally had a whole personal pizza plus, like, an order of mozzarella sticks. I had zero leftovers. Um, I wasn't quite so hungry Friday night. Um, Saturday night, we actually went out to dinner because we were doing well and we wanted to celebrate a little bit, have a good time. And then Sunday, we were done at 2. We packed up. We were leaving Cleveland at 5. I actually drove a good chunk of the way home. I drove from about 5 when we left Cleveland because I was the one driving when we left Cleveland until about 11 o'clock at night. Um... And then Becca took over. And the reason I did that, excuse me, I'm yawning. I'm, no, I'm still tired, I swear. was because I had to be at work at 9 a.m. on Monday, and Becca didn't. So <laughs> um, so I drove, like, the first part of the night, and then Becca drove the other way. We ended up getting back to back to their house at um, about 4.30 in the morning. And I'd left my car at their house. Um, it, but, um, but I was kind of awake at that point, so I decided I was just going to drive home. Now, keep in mind, the sun's up at this point, because this is this time of year. 
the way, for anyone that celebrates or wants to mark the occasion, happy solstice. It was yesterday. I'm a day late. I know. But happy solstice. I know a few pagans, wiccans, whatever you want to call yourselves, and I try to wish everyone a happy solstice because I know that that's a big holiday for them. So, happy solstice. Anyways, um, because the days are so long, it's, you know, bright daylight at 4.30 in the morning. Well, or by the time I got home at 5, it was bright daylight. Because I live about a half hour away from where they live. So, um, so I get back. I try to catch a couple hours sleep, but of course I get home at 5. Kevin's alarm goes off at 6. Can't really get back to sleep after that. So I end up going and I end up leaving work early, coming home, and I slept like four hours. I stayed, was up for a few hours, and then I slept through the night into Tuesday. And then I finally found human again. Um, but it was a good show. We had a good time. Um, I got some ideas for designs. I made some contacts. I did some networking. I'm so glad Becca allows me to do that kind of networking at events like this for like test knitting and sample knitting and things like that. Um, I also made a couple of contacts who might have me design a couple of things. I know I'm very new at all of this, but you know, I just went up to people and said, hi, you know, I do sample knitting. Um, you know, would you like me? Would you, yeah, do you need anything knit? You know, etc. Um, so, you know, it's just, um, you know, I'm just trying to network and stuff like that. But because, like, what I'm doing doesn't interfere with what Becca's doing, she's, like, perfectly happy to let me do it. So anyways, the yarn, I have stash. I have a decent, I ended up with six gains this time because I could not make up my mind. I, there was colors and, because 100 Ravens has beautiful colors. They just, they just always have gorgeous colors. And I could not make up my mind. I swear to you, I could not make up my mind. So I just kind of went with it. So these are not going to be true to color. I'm actually going to insert... I'll insert like a photo, whichever side, um, I'll insert a photo, uh, uh, of the pictures because I took some good pictures of the yarn, but I'm just going to dump the bag out. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm going to do the different bases one at a time. So I'm going to start with their standard 100% Merino base, which is their Iacos. So this is the colorway. I am fire. I am death. You can't really see it. Hold on. Let me see if I can't. Um, let's see. I have... It's not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do. Here. No, oh, there you go. Now you can see. So I'm using my phone as like a spotlight. See the color there? Yeah, isn't that nice? So this is I Am Fire, I Am Death. It was part of their Dragon series. Yes, it is named for Smog's line in the end of the second Hobbit movie. Spoiler. Not really a spoiler. Um, then this was actually like a slightly messed up batch of a colorway called Firewatch see here um but it's also it's a little brighter than what the colorway normally is but I really like it then this one I really need the light for it. this one is their Yaksha base which is 70 percent merino 20 percent yak 10 percent nylon and this is their Jimmy Beans colorway she only had a few skeins of it and they didn't sell so I nabbed one for myself and this is equal justice under law I will put a link in the in the show notes to to what this is referencing because it's a specific federal judge who was the first African-American federal judge was a woman and um, there's a specific reference going on there so I will put all of the info in the show notes um, links down below on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube links down below to the show notes where you'll find all the information then I couldn't make up my mind I want for some reason for someone who doesn't like pink I'm knitting a lot of pink. Sorry, my hair's driving me nuts. And my elastic is across the room, and I'm too lazy to go get it. Um, I'm on a pink kick, so I ended up... I wanted some true sock yarn from them, because I don't have any sock yarn. I've just had Yakos. But now but now they have Pados, or Pados, or however you want to say it. And I wanted to knit socks, and I'm probably going to design with these. But I ended up with... And this is me being very, very nerdy. I ended up with Rose Tyler and a Bad Wolf. Yeah, I went there. Um... <laughs> So Pados is a, is a classic 75-25 merino nylon. So to really show you the difference, I'm going to hold up the, the phone with the... So see, see the difference, right? So Rose Tyler is a very bright pink, and Bad Wolf is this, like, grayish, purplish pink with, like, grays and brighter pinks, and it's... It's more... It's, it, it's a really bad picture. I'm sorry. I'm recording this now. It's getting dark, and I'm sorry, and time is slipping away from me. No! Um, and then the last skein I got was I got a skein of Acer, which is the DK in the colorway Luck Dragon. So there you can see how bright it actually is. It's very pastel-y. Um, I'm probably going to do a hat or something with this. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to end up designing a sock pattern for one of these. Probably just do single skein projects with these because they are really pretty. Probably a hat, and I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something special for the Yaksha 
but because this is a limited colorway it's equal justice under law it's the jimmy beans colorway for the box they did so those are the six skeins of stash as my light is fading and completely leaving me because i was being stupid and insisting on doing things before i recorded when i really just sort of recorded um let's see what else um oh i did record some footage at t and a and um and uh, uh and i did just like a walkabout but i'm gonna do that as a separate video and i'm actually gonna post it on the channel i made for what i think i'm gonna because i think i want to start vlogging a little bit so i made a separate channel so i'm actually gonna post that over there um also speaking of vlogging and stuff hold on just a sec i'm gonna grab something to show y'all okay so i have been um following this these um i follow people who vlog from japan because I love Japan, but I don't want to like leave my family and everything to go live there, especially because I'm in a relationship and all my family's here and I have aging relatives and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? But I love, I've been to Japan once. I want to go back to visit so bad. And um, I've kind of been living vicariously by following vloggers. Um, I started watching one woman who goes by, whose name is Sharla, but then she moved to Korea. I'm still watching her, but now she's like in Seoul. But she got, but she turned me onto this other vlogger named Norm, who goes by Tokyo Lens. And uh, he uh, uh, did some swag, and I kind of bought the swag, and I've been using it for like a week now because it was here when I got home on Monday, so I've basically been using it as my laptop bag for um, all week. But he did some swag for like the pre-50K, because he doesn't have 50,000 followers yet. I wish I had 1,000 followers. I am not near his level of followers on YouTube. Um, I mean, it would be nice if I had 200 followers, right? But, um, but he, but he's excited to just be where he is. He's not quite at 30K right now. And, um, he did swag for people who have been following him for a while, for people who, um, are the pre-50K crew. So, um, he did some stuff on Redbubble. He did stickers, and I got a sticker, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. I don't want to actually stick the sticker to anything, because that it's, like, not usable anymore, right? Um, but I might just, like, tack it to the wall with, like, a thumbtack or something. But I also, but not only this did I get a sticker, but I got a tote bag. So I grabbed the tote bag so I could show you guys. So here's what I came up with. Tokyo Lens Pre-50K Crew. So there you go. It's actually a really nice big tote bag. I got the, like, the medium size, which is like the 16 inch. So I've got like my notebook, like my binder and stuff for work and stuff in here. Um, and I, and it holds my laptop too for when like I take my laptop to work. So it's actually really nice. It doesn't have a padded laptop compartment or anything. But it's a good sized tote bag, and it's really nice, and I like it. Um, and also just, yay, go Norm on trying to get 50,000 followers. Um, <laughs> he's actually really sweet, and he tries to be, tries to respond to all of his followers on Facebook and Twitter and stuff. Um, and I should probably follow his example and be more active on social media, because I'm really not that active on social media. I try, but I fail miserably half the time. I'm sorry I keep playing with my hair. I'm just going to twist it up and just hope it stays for like the rest of the, this recording but so yeah that was pretty much it um like i said in the last video i don't have a patreon if you feel you'd like to give me something go for it um if you don't don't i like i like i said this is not a money grab this is just a if you like me tips are nice but don't feel do you have to um, also, I made a Discord now, so feel free to come and join. Um, I'm manually adding people as they enter the servers, because I haven't figured out how to write Discord bots yet. So, um, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, oh, I did get one other thing at TNN, and it's a mug, and it's like a travel mug. So here it is. I have some David's tea in it, but you can see it's like red and black. It's actually got a, it's got a to-go lid, and it fits in your, um, fits in your car cup holder, but the best part about it is... I'm gonna turn it around. Dun dun dun! I knit so I don't kill people. <laughs> I got this at Sample It on Thursday night, and I will link the potter below because I cannot think of their name right now. And it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love your stuff, and I can't think of your name. They do really, really geeky stuff, like like Winter is Coming, Knit Faster, or um, you know, like Star Trek stuff, or just just lots of, like uh, Doctor Who stuff, and just so much geeky stuff. It's great. But I cannot think of their name right now off the top of my head. I just, I cannot think of the name. So I will, I will link them in the show notes. So please go give them some love. They are awesome. Um, what else? Oh, we were next to Knit Ba Pearl. 
and they had these buttons and they were lovely it says you know lay flat to dry i want this on a t-shirt so bad um i got a couple extra buttons for some friends so that's good um let's see anything else oh like i said just the discord feel free to come join the server there's a link down below um if you would like to patronize me on patreon that would be great but don't feel like you have to you really really don't i swear don't don't feel obligated um likes subscribes comments are always appreciated on youtube thank you very much um likes and subscribes give the youtube algorithm the juice it needs for other people to find this podcast so thank you um if you've left a comment if you'd like the video if you've given me some love i really really appreciate it each and every one of you i very much appreciate it um if you're a new viewer, thank you for listening to my rambling for the last 22 minutes. If you are a returning viewer, you know how this it normally goes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you again. Um, the TNNA video will be up on my other channel, I've decided. Um, I'm going to splice that all together, and I will post a link when it is up. Um, it'll, the link will be just below this video or in the show notes or both. I haven't made up my mind yet, but there will be another video. Um, so thank you guys again and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.